Hi everybody, John here with Cruiser Customizing. Today we're going to take a look at the new black brand motorcycle apparel available now at cruisercustomizing.com. Before we get started, I just wanted to talk about black brand as a whole. Whenever I'm going through all of these different pieces of apparel, please keep in mind the leather garments, they're going to come with a six year manufacturer's warranty, which is almost unheard of out there in the industry. And your textile garments are going to come with a three year warranty. So if you're looking for someone who stands behind their gear, black brand is where it's at. Also, they donate a portion of all proceeds to home for our troops. That's for returning vets to help them find home placement. So definitely a wonderful brand to work with. They're doing a lot of good things out there in the community. So let's go ahead and take a look at this gear real quick. Up first, we've got the club vest. Premium cowhide leather, top to bottom. This thing's not real flashy. That's kind of what black brand is about. This stuff is supposed to be unique. You don't want to be exactly the same as everybody else out on the street. So they've got this black leather vest. This one's kind of understated. It's got some classic styling points to it. It actually reminds me a little bit of the older denim vest, but this one, like I said, premium cowhide leather, top to bottom. On the outside, there's not a whole lot going on. You've got a couple pockets down here at the bottom, a couple pockets that snap closed, and on the left pocket at the top, there's actually a spot to throw your sunglasses there while you're walking around. At the rally on the back, again, this thing is one piece of leather, top to bottom, so you can sew your patches on there. This thing's going to look really sharp. You don't have to worry about sewing through any of those seams. And we've got a little embossed skull logo right down at the bottom. On this particular vest though, the fun starts on the inside. This thing's got a couple different pockets here. It's also got a silk style liner. It's extremely comfortable. So we've got two stash pockets here. I think those will hold a 12 ounce can if you need them to. Also on both sides, you've got these two large deep pockets. These actually open up and they have a heavy duty liner on the inside, which that's gonna actually perform as a carry conceal pocket. So if you happen to, happen to be a carry conceal holder, you can use either left or right or both if you need to. And that's gonna hold any of those concealable weapons you need to while you're out riding around. And last but not least on the inside here, this liner, you'll notice that it's got a zipper on it. That actually unzips so you can easily fold it out of the way and it makes it very easy to access the back portion of that leather that's that solid one piece so you can sew any of your patches in there. After you get done sewing them in place, you just zip this thing back up and you're ready to go. So as you move up ranks in your club, you can add them on there. You don't have to worry about cutting through the liner. And we'll go ahead and throw this one off to the side and take a look at our next vest. This is the Ice Pick. This one's definitely got a bit more of an aggressive look to it. It actually has uh, some more features on the outside, a few less features on the inside. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Top to bottom on the front, this is all perforated leather. So that's gonna allow for some increased airflow. Um, all of the products from Black Brand also come with YKK zippers, so you know that they're going to perform flawlessly. This one's also got some zipper closures for the pockets right down here at the bottom. On the side of this, this is actually a stretch panel. It has some elastic feel to it. That's going to allow this to pull up nice and tight against your body so it's not going to flap around while you're riding down the road. And if you need to tighten it up just a bit, you can actually just grab one of the three straps here on the side and wrench those down just a little bit. Um, this one, it kind of reminds me of a SWAT style vest, you know, a bulletproof vest, if you will. So um, definitely has that aggressive look to it. On the back, you've got perforated leather running all the way down. So again, you don't have any sleeves on this one, providing restricted airflow, but just to make sure that you're gonna get airflow everywhere you want it, that perforation is gonna let that fly right through. On the inside, on this one, you've got two pockets on the lapels. These do not have that heavy duty liner in there, but they do have a liner um, so you can stash whatever you need in there. None of the deep 12 ounce can pockets, but it does retain the zipper that goes all the way across the liner. And again, that's going to allow you access to get inside, sew your patches on, and then you can zip it right back up 
and maintain that nice factory finish. So we'll go ahead and fold this one up, throw him off to the side. Next up, we have the Neanderthal. This is a classic looking leather jacket. It, it looks like a lot of things, you, you know, you've probably seen pictures of your grandpa or your dad wearing something like this. It's got that classic look to it. It's very, very nostalgic. Now they have built a few things into this one to bring it up to the 21st century. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. First off, this thing's got storage absolutely all over the place. We've got zippered pockets on the front, just about everywhere. So if you need to carry something with you, no problem, you can do it. Also, the snaps here on the front, I don't know if we can get a close up on that, but it's got a really, really cool looking skull logo. And it's actually gonna be on all of the snaps across the front here. Thought that was kind of cool. And also on the sleeve, this has an embossed skull logo. And it's just one of those things that adds to the features of this jacket. This also has your zip closures down at the, uh, where your wrists are. That's gonna make sure you don't have too much material down at the bottom flapping around. And it's gonna keep everything pulled in nice and tight while you're out riding. One of the things where this jacket has been updated are, is venting. All your traditional leather jackets, they have zero venting. They've actually put vents in the bicep on this. And if you zip that up and tuck the zipper away, you almost don't notice it at all because it goes right into that factory seam. So it blends very, very well into the jacket, but these things can get miserably hot while you're out riding around. We know you want to look like a badass, but sometimes you want to be comfortable too. So you just go ahead and unzip those. It's going to allow for some airflow while you're out riding around. And if you have air coming into the jacket, you got to get rid of it someplace. So on the back, again, this has that very traditional look. Just looks like the patchwork of the leather going together like a typical leather jacket, but hidden underneath of here, it's actually got a zipper that goes all the way across where your shoulder blades are, that's gonna open up. Let all that air evacuate out the back, keeping you from getting too toasty while you're out riding around. You're also gonna find some expansion panels in the shoulders. That's gonna allow you a bit of adjustment while you're out riding around. Same thing down here at the waist. You'll be able to keep everything pulled up nice and tight without any flapping, but it's also gonna help you get in a comfortable position while you're out riding around. Moving on to the inside, this does have a quilted liner. It has some pockets on the inside of it as well. And you'll see that really cool black brand logo going all the way around. This liner, you can actually remove it. It's just got a zipper that goes right around the top. As long as it's not cool or cold outside, you just pull this guy out, set him off to the side, and it's still gonna maintain this mesh liner on the inside. And again, you still got your black brand logo there. I think skulls are cool. So I thought it was kind of neat that they put it on uh, both the liner and the inside of the jacket. So we'll go ahead and zip the Neanderthal up, throw him out of the way. One thing to mention before I set it off to the side that I didn't mention when I was on the back just a second ago, cause it's hidden so well. Um, right here, there's actually some fossil light built in. That's a reflective strip that's gonna make sure that you have some visibility while you're out riding around at night. As you look at the jacket, honestly, it blends in so well, you can't even really see it. So um, it was nice that they were able to incorporate that to give you some more visibility without messing up the lines of the jacket. All right, the last jacket we're gonna look at, this is the Street Team in Brown. This is a textile jacket. It's a heavy cordure material. This is actually made to simulate what denim would almost look like, but this is gonna have better abrasion resistance. Um, it also allows for a little bit better airflow. Plus this has been treated to make sure that it is water resistant. It's not waterproof on the outside, but the shell has been treated to be water resistant. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing real quick. Up front, we've got some zippered pockets. We've got some snap pockets at the very top and Hidden right here above the pockets. This actually has a couple vents that open up and allow for airflow. We'll check out where those dump out in just a moment. This is a very casual looking jacket. It also comes with the D3O armor. So 
This is gonna look fine just going out to dinner or um, going back and forth to work. If you don't have the, uh, the armor, you know, really protruding a whole lot, this is just gonna look like a regular street jacket. And that's kind of the idea with this. Um, this is just made to be um, added protection while you're out riding around, but also maintain any of uh, that, that casual feel um, as you're just walking down the street. You don't, nobody wants to look like Ricky Racer all the time. So um, this jacket's gonna give you that protection you need, but still keep you nice and comfortable. One other thing I wanna point out on the front on this one as well, you'll see that Fossilite show back up. It does show up just a little bit more on the brown. This Fossilite against the, the gray against the brown, it is gonna be a little bit more visible, but they've worked it into the lines on the jacket. So it doesn't look out of place by any means. If we flip this around to the back, you're just gonna see a couple features here. We've got a couple snaps down at the waist. And again, they have that skull embossed there on those buttons and it just adds a little bit of flash definitely i feel like it uh make, makes the jacket seem a little bit more flashy and give it a little more class so um moving up to the top we've got that cool air coming in the front we got to get rid of it so this one's got a couple vents those vents are going to allow all that air piping through to just funnel right out the back and again, they've worked those into the seams. So if you're just wearing this as a casual jacket, you're probably never going to get called out for having vents on the back of the jacket. You'll also see that this has one large strip of fossilite right there across the top as well. They've worked it into the natural seam. So again, it does not look out of place. Go ahead and take a look at the inside on this one. This jacket actually has a zip out liner on the inside. That's gonna be a waterproof material. So that's gonna make this a little bit more versatile as you ride around. Sometimes you get caught in a little bit of a downpour. This liner is so thin, you can actually just keep it rolled up and stuff it in the pocket while you're out riding around on most days. And then if you get caught in a little downpour, pop it out and throw it in. You have one lapel pocket on this one. This one, it's not a heavy duty pocket like the other, but if you wanted it for a concealed carry or just a stash pocket, you could use it for that as well. So we'll go ahead and throw this one off to the side. And last up in the material or the uh, products that we're gonna look at from the black brand today, this is the new Cheater helmet. This is the Cheater .50, which is the half helmet. They've got the .75, which is your three quarter helmet. This is actually new for the market. These are one of the smallest DOT approved helmets out there. These things are super light. As you can see, the liner on that is very, very thin. If you don't like the half helmets that look like a big giant mushroom and you don't like the increased size just dragging in the wind and you want the smallest helmet that's gonna be legal out there, this new Cheater .50 is probably what you're looking for. These things, they've got the black brand skull on the back. They come in flat black. I believe you can get them in the flat black with a pink skull coming up in the future. But for right now, it's just a very traditional flat black. You got your three snap visor on the front. It's one of the lightest, one of the smallest, and it is DOT approved. So if anybody has any questions about any of these products we've looked at today, please let me know in the comment section below. As always, make sure you're subscribed. There's a link down there in the corner. Just click on it so you won't miss out on any of the upcoming videos. We'll put links to these in the description so you can check them out on the website. Go to the black brand page, look at each one of the products, pick you out something that's super cool and get it on the way. Until next time, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed our look. My name's John. Please ride safe.